Hello guys and welcome to a video that I'm doing. I need to work on my intros, I really do, <laughs> I really do. Anyways, what we're gonna do today, as you saw by the title, is we are gonna make a nice little farm sort of aspect thing. So the use for this is not efficiency, but it just looks nice. So let's get right into it. So we have the house and we have the main layout. So what I like doing first is once we have, we have to have the house in a nice spot. So right here, this is a pretty good area. The house should be moved back a little more just so the pathway can extend a little bit. But right now this is fine. So what I'm going to do is actually going to start making a pathway, literally just using a shovel. Like it's really not that hard to make a pathway like this, but we are going to edit the pathway. But right now we're just going to have a main layout of how it actually looks. So I'm going to have this going and we're going to have a pathway that sort of goes around some areas and you'll see once I finish. All you have to do is hold right click and it'll literally just make this pathway for you. Now it's a little bit thick on this side. So what I usually do is just add some grass. If anything, what you could do if you're in survival, you literally just break this and it'll turn into dirt and you could place it right back and then wait for it to grow. But since we're in creative, I need to speed the process up. I'm going to have it sort of like this. So it kind of extends a little bit. Now it's not going to be like evenly symmetrical, which I'm fine with because it really, I mean, it doesn't really matter for it to be symmetrical. It's a farm. It's not going to be that symmetrical. So if I just keep following these paths and I just kind of make a sort of curve, we're going to have the farms go next to the pathway and it'll hopefully look amazing. So this is how the layout of the roads actually look. It looks like an M. Obviously they're not even, they're not symmetrical. I don't want them to be symmetrical. The whole point is for them to look natural and nice. So this is mainly how it's gonna look. I'm gonna add a few more roads to this top part and then that will be it. And we can move on to the next step. So right now I'm just adding texture sort of to the actual roads and or the pathways so it doesn't look so straight so it's like more like jagged i guess right here just add some more along the sides and <laughs> this is how the road looks right now it looks really ugly but we are going to fix that uh, i like having walls around it i think it'll look a little cooler and it'll add as a safety barrier especially if you're in survival um, the mobs are actually going to destroy your crops so easily. So it'll be good if you add a wall to it. So for the sake of the house, I'm going to make it out of stone brick because mainly the house is a uh, stone brick. So that's what I'm going to make it. But, um, you guys, if you guys do watch my survival logic craft thing, I do have it out of cobblestone in that just because it is easier to get in survival. But I like stone brick for this. It'll look a little bit nicer so basically what you want to do is just make like a little pathway I think right here is good enough right here just we're gonna outline a little wall and this these parts right here are gonna actually be sort of like entryways so this side this side over here and then the top side are actually gonna be entryways and then the rest is gonna be farms so the main thing you want to do is actually make it not round, but just make it quite big. So all this grass will be turned into actual crops. So I'm going to make this wall and what it's going to be is sort of like a big circle around it, but it doesn't necessarily need to be a circle. You don't have to pay too much attention to how it actually looks like literally you just got to place random blocks just like this and make it sort of even. So that right here, as you guys can see, it is cutting too much. So I'm going to make a sort of circle around it and I'll be back with you. So after the walls are actually laid out, what I'm going to do is I am going to make each of these two tall, at least because one tall, obviously this is not going to stop anybody from just jumping. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make them too tall. So it'll stop basically everything except for spiders. Now there's also another thing that I'm going to do. When there are places like this, as you can see, it is one above over here, but then down here it isn't. What I do is I just turn the dirt into stone brick because it will look a lot better. And then on the outside, I will still make it too tall. So right here, it'll all be too tall. So 
the wall does get a little bit big in some areas but i am fine with that because it does do its job and it does protect so yeah stuff like right here and since these walls are like a little too high i will just like you know start terraforming add some grass just because the grass will make it so you don't have to do any of that in case it becomes too much so right here like this it won't be too bad even on this layer you could take this grass off but right now i think it's good mobs could still jump here so i basically try to make it just so mobs cannot just walk in at any moment so just make it too tall around it and then once i am done with that i'm gonna change the grass a little bit stuff like this i will like fill in and stuff just just to make it more even and more symmetrical i guess so it doesn't look too like sharp and messed up and all that so that's gonna be done i also need to take all of this grass all of this needs to go so i'm gonna take all the grass all the flowers off and i'll be back to you once i'm done with that okay so now after all of that is done as you guys can see the whole thing is basically just done almost like that was the main part now it's just about mainly the farm and then details so for the details what i want to do is i have three entrances i have two in the back just in case i come back out of exploring and i want to come back through here that's why i have entrances everywhere so i can come through here and in the front if i go through the front i could just come right through here i don't have any on the sides and that's i don't it's not that necessary i don't really need that many entrances but what i'm going to do is make this a nice simple entrance so what i'll do is just place the stairs until it reaches a nice little arch and then when i get here i will place a stair under like that so we'll add a little bit of a a little bit of a spike now like i said i have done this in my survival world which is why i'm gonna do it here just because i think i think it's it's nice and simple and easy because i suck at building so if i could do it anybody could do it so we'll just add the same thing here and then for the entrance what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put just some fence gates like this so if you want to bring a horse or whatever you could literally open this and you could go with the horse now that's why that's why i want it like uh i want it like uh that if i have an open concept then mobs and cows and like everything will be able to get in and that means that they're going to stomp on your crops and we want a minimal of that. So once I do this, the main thing is actually done. But we have left to do is finish the wall, which will probably be last. But what I want to focus on right now is getting the actual farm done. So like I said before, this is not about efficiency. So there's not going to be any water in this farm. And now I have tried to do this before and I was tilling the whole like all of the land and all of that. But since there's no water, it'll end up turning back to dirt. So instead of waiting for it to turn back to dirt or what you see right there, it turns into dirt. And I don't want that. So what you this is the easiest way to do it, because once you place a seed, they will literally not turn into dirt once you have the once you have the seeds placed. So if you press F while you have the seeds, it'll go into your other slot. So all you do is hold left click or hold right click and it'll automatically till the land and plant it at the same time. So I'm literally just holding left click and this is what's happening. Like I am literally placing it, placing it, placing it. You guys saw that the dirt literally, it turned into dirt really quick. So if I just do this the entire way, which is what I did in my survival, this will allow you to keep the to keep the seeds without any water and not having to destroy it now we just wait for all of the crops to grow so <laughs> it looks so beautiful when they all grow so quickly and so easily but look at it they are growing really fast and as you guys can see while they grow i have wheat over here i have beetroots i have potatoes and there's a lot of potatoes but i have potatoes and then right here more beetroots that turn into carrots that turn into wheat that turn into potatoes and more potatoes and wheat and yeah it all it all is good the tick wow 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 so they all grew literally they all grew except for this little this little guy over here struggling there we go it is wow it looks really sick it looks really awesome and i like it but we're not done yet guys we still have things to do. So what I'm going to do is for the last bit, I'm going to put fences and 
well, basically where I have the grass laid out already, that's where I will put the fences because I already sort of knew what I was going to do with the fences. And basically you just want something, something that looks, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but just something like this. So it's all spread out. It, I don't want it too close, but I also don't want it too far apart because I want it to, I want people to know that it's actually a uh, sort of a pathway barrier fence thing. A lot of the cobblestone, um, it just looks, I don't know, I don't, I feel like it just, it needs more texture. So by adding these mossy stone bricks, what I want to do is add some texture to it. I'm also going to get some cracked stone bricks. I don't want them infested. Cracked stone bricks and also add them to the actual design. So it'll look sort of like that instead of an actual regular fence. So I'm going to do those two details and I'll be back. Okay, so I have it all complete. Basically, it's all complete. Um, I added some fences, walls, a mix of walls, stairs, and slabs actually to the top of it. So it looks more uh, like all like different types or different sizes. So it's not all the same big line. And I think it looks really cool. I really like how it looks overall. It looks amazing. And um, what I'm gonna do now is for the front if we set it to night so boom nighttime if we add slabs like this i was thinking of having a lantern but actually no if we have the stairs go this way and then we could have the entrance lit up so that's how i think the entrances are going to be just because the entrance needs to be lit up it can't just be dark and spooky because that's the entrance of the actual thing so what i'm gonna do is now it's just about experimenting what you want and how you like it and how you don't like it now of course all of this is optional for the mossy and crack zone i just like it it looks a little better but if you do it with uh cobblestone you could just add different types of cobblestone um which is easier to make and yeah that's what i did for the survival and i think it looks really nice so now that we have all that done right here in the middle i wanted to add a cute little scarecrow i don't know it's like a little a little scarecrow right there. I think that looks pretty cool. What if jackal lan? Oh, we can even get a jackal lantern, so it will light up the area. I like that. I think that looks really cool. Um, a few more things that I wanted to to see is if we could add some sort of uh leaves and some lanterns on the sides. So what I wanted to try is if we have something like this, if we could add just like lanterns. So every so often where there's like a dark area, we could like bring it up and then have a lantern. So one, two, three, four, it goes up four and this one goes up one, two, three, four. So yeah, stuff like that for the last touches of this build that I want to do before I call it final is add some slabs like you saw right there if I just add slabs to these little areas it'll make it so much more easy to actually climb up and we don't have to just you know it'll just be nice stroll through our little garden so it's not that bad just go up the slabs like this see the little scarecrow you can either go left or right I think it looks good we just got to finish adding these slabs and then what I also wanted to do is maybe add some hay bales now um i don't want to add hay bales where there's these types like the beetroot and the potatoes because that's not hay bales go where the wheat is because that's what it's literally made out of so what i want to do is you could also just you know i'm just gonna take this off there we go oh oh i messed it up oh well this is why i'm here so I make the mistakes and you don't, but there we go. Now it's good. Now it's looking good. There we go. We have stairs along all of the paths. Now they don't have to be completely lit up because the mobs won't spawn on there. But if anything, we could just add one right here. One more fence. So two, three, four, just to glow a little more. I should probably add it on the other side, but it's fine. That looks great. Um, a few more little details is if you want it on the outside, what you can also do is add lanterns on these little wall cobblestone walls. So throughout the whole, you don't have to add it on every single one, of course, but if you want to make it a little bit brighter, what you can do is just add lanterns on each or on almost every single one of the walls. So we have this and for the last, the last line of the fence, 
what you also sh should do is which what I'm gonna do is add berries and if you literally but you don't even need a bone I'm not even gonna bone meal it but right here if you add berries on the sides they literally once they grow they're going way faster because I'm on creative and it's for the video but obviously they're not gonna grow that fast but if you add berries throughout your whole like wall design build thing if you add it the everything takes damage from the berries so this could be a really good line of defense especially for the spiders because when i built this i knew the spiders definitely wanted to climb up so if you just add this around the entire like area the spiders are not gonna probably i don't think they're gonna be able to climb it because they're gonna be dying from these actual berries so right here is a great line of defense for the spiders along with this little hay bale that i'm going to add just around the area so there we go a few here and add some more hay bales over here that looks fine we're just gonna have to move the hay bales around a little bit make them seem a little more natural like one right there and i think that looks good we're gonna have to add it where there's wheat so just a few more right here so there boom this looks awesome this actually looks awesome this looks so sick and it's it's really nice and it's not hard to do at all a lot of these things that i see right now are wood there's really besides the house it's wood and you could even make this out of cobblestone so basically cobblestone and wood and you could have all this that is it so we walk through here close this and we'll have this wonderful garden right here. You can go through a path that leads you through all the crops that you have. Nice lights everywhere you know where to go. You have this nice little scarecrow. And then you go down here into your house. This is awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoy. See you guys later. Good. Bye.